Indians gave the world its first shampoo. The word itself is derived from the Hindi word champo, which means to knead or to press. Sheikh Din Muhammad, a Bengali surgeon, entrepreneur and traveller, first took shampooing or champui to England in the early 19th century. One wonders what life there was like before that. Oh, the heady fragrance of history. From ancient times, Indians made shampoo by boiling sapindus or rita and dried Indian gooseberry or amla. The word sapindus comes from the Latin word sapo meaning soap and indicus meaning from India. In 1814, Sheikh Din Muhammad and his wife Jane Daly set up the first shampooing vapour masseur bath in Brighton, England. He described it in a newspaper article as the Indian medicated vapour bath, a type of Turkish bath, a cure to many diseases and giving full relief when everything else fails. So initially, shampooing was associated with the washing and massage of the entire body, but later it came to take on the meaning specific to the hair of the head. Commercial shampoos were available by the turn of the 20th century. Canthrox shampoo and Harmony Hair Beautifier and Shampoo were amongst the first American brands. In 1927, German inventor Hans Schwarzkopf came up with the first liquid shampoo. His name lives on to this day in the form of a hair products brand name. India wasn't the only ancient civilization to come up with shampoo. Before quinoa can be cooked and eaten, a natural soapy substance called saponin has to be washed out of it. Ancient Andean civilizations of South America used this natural soapy byproduct of quinoa to make shampoo. Something to think about when eating your quinoa salad. I was once asked as a joke that if shampoo is sham poo, then what is real poo? Sham meaning fake, of course, and poo is well poo. While that was a bad joke, I was surprised to learn that there is actually something called the no poo movement, which is not what you might think it is. This movement rejects the custom of regular shampooing, believing that it's bad for the hair and scalp. Instead, its followers use things like vinegar and baking soda because these things don't have side effects. I believe that they should switch to organic Indian shampoo to get hair that has bounce, body, fragrance and shine without the poo. I'm the Englishman and it's bye for now.